Good morning guys, enjoying my coffee. I think today is a great day to um, give you a tour of the van. The van is not complete yet in its entirety, but it's really at a good point of um, being able to show you guys what we have done and the changes that we made compared to the other van and Bob is outside working on the Jeep tow system and so I thought this would be a good time to give you guys a tour. So let's get at it. So starting with the front of the van, we have swivel seats in the van just like we did in our previous van. We have that seat facing forward right now because Bob needs everything in the right position to be working on the um, hookup for the Jeep lights and the tow bar. And so with the swivel seats, you get significantly more room in the van and another seating area for others to join you. And it just really opens up the space in the van when you have that. That way you have two seating positions there um, and those push way back into the dash and so there's a lot of leg room there and that works really well. I would highly recommend if you're building out a van that you add swivel seats. That adds so much more to the living space and the ability to um, have other people join you. And so moving on from there, this is a little cabinet that we have made and this cabinet actually is for Bob's clothes. Let me show you. <laughs> yes, that is how tiny Bob's um, area is for his clothes. And that shows you how very few clothes that he actually has. This is a really good little storage space. It's nice to also have the um, space on top. So when you're sitting there, you can put drinks there, set stuff down there. We still haven't quite figured out where we're putting a lot of things. Um, uh, in the van and so right now this is an antenna with the um, phone on it for our AT&T and so we need to figure out a permanent solution for that. On that actual um, area and cabinet is where our Laguna table goes. This actually swivels out. The tabletop goes on top of that. Then you can do your eating there if you want to working on a desk can also be shared between the couch itself and the seat in the front for dining purposes. So we love the Laguna table. We still have not made one for this um, van. We had one in the other van, but we had not had time yet to make that um, tabletop. So that is a work in progress. Nice thing about the Laguna table is that it does adjust up and down. And as you saw the swivel, it swivels in many different ways. So below the actual, um, let me open up the door so I can step out a bit. So below the counter there, or that little cabinet is where we're housing all the EcoFlow batteries. There are four of them under there and they are also attached to the inverter, which is attached to the engine which um, helps charge those EcoFlow lithium batteries when we are driving and um, that is a great space. Everything is tucked in there nicely and clean um, for the individual EcoFlows themselves. If you want to know more information about the EcoFlows and how we're using it, we just did a video on how we are using them to um, power everything in the van currently. Moving on from there, sit back here. As you can see, I'm sitting in the chair and this is our couch. What we did differently to that couch is we actually raised it higher. The other one was a little bit lower and we actually made it wider. The nice thing about that is then um, we have more storage space underneath and actually more room in that direction. So that is where the couch is. This is also the bunk bed. So I'm gonna show you how that works, or actually, I'm not gonna show you how that works because I wanna show you another video on our bunk bed system. We have modified that bunk bed um, compared to the other one that we had. Um, as you can see down below, there's an extra frame right there. That whole thing actually lifts up and that becomes a bunk bed instead of uh, what we did previously we had the back of the couch actually turn into the bunk bed. So this was an ingenious solution that Bob did um, to change that up a little bit. 
from this direction I'll show you the kitchen and I'll also show you what's underneath the bunk bed right now but this is our kitchen and what we love about this new um, look is we have the wood butcher block countertop which really softens the van gives it a nice um, addition to color everything is not silver and white like the past um, van that we had with the stainless steel countertops so I love the butcher block look Coming forward, what we wanted was an actual um, shoe storage space because we were always shoving shoes everywhere and in between things. And this time, we actually made a cabinet specifically for the shoes themselves, which we love. Everything is nice and tidy and organized then in there. So let me take you around to that. This is our shoe cabinet holds a lot of shoes actually I can get more in there and everything is made out of this um, the panels are made out of corrugated plastic so they're very washable and clean and so I also like that about the corrugated plastic that we're using we're using that also um, as the paneling in the uh, 8020 cabinets themselves we have all these great attachments and everything does latch in place come to the outside here this is corrugated cardboard corrugated plastic doubled it up to give it the extra strength that we thought it would need and so we have that in all of the cabinets and all of the finished places this isn't actually a let me back you over here dormitory style refrigerator um, and you can get that at Walmart Home Depot any of those places this EcoFlow River Pole is actually charging the um, refrigerator itself. We also have our um, water heater connected to that. And then when I'm cooking, I have that up here and I use the induction stove tops and connect it to that. So we're kind of still kind of working out the bugs with the EcoFlows and how much power we can use and things like that. But um, these are working uh, overall really well for us. Um, so. Moving on from there, underneath there is uh, kitchen storage. Again, we have these great uh, latches that attach or lock and keep everything secure. So under here I have my two induction stove tops, which I love. And I love the convenience of being able to put those anywhere when I'm cooking and create the space that I need so the stove itself isn't um, uh, taking up any space so I have all this great countertop space here um, in the van and the nice thing about this compared to our other one is this countertop comes over the top of everything where in the past the countertop ended right here and um, now it goes over top of the refrigerator and then, then over top of our shoe box I keep all of our canned goods under there I keep them stored in containers otherwise everything is kind of flying around in there same thing on this side miscellaneous food and storage thing and soaps and what have you underneath this is my miscellaneous drawer pretty packed full right now um, lots of things in here we have all of our um, items uh, all my spices are in here and then these are things that we use most often like little handy screwdrivers tape and what have you I lost a little bit of space in my drawer and so it is um, seemingly a little tight in here but it actually works um, all of our utensils are over there all my bath and body stuff deodorant uh, sunscreen all of that and so we are making every little um, space work in that drawer as well the nice thing about this drawer too it has these great latches on and that locks everything in place so that's not falling forward when we're traveling or, or rolling forward I keep a little magnet hanging thing here and I put a, a mirror here um, when needed and so that goes into the drawer when we're traveling but these magnet hooks work really great up above is all of our food storage um, same amount of space as I had in the last uh, van all our plates in there and everything is plastic and then all the food fits up there again great latches nothing swings open 
this side is same thing food storage um, I use these shower caddies to organize things um, because a lot of the accondiments and things like that that stuff gets all thrown around and so that keeps everything organized so those are really nice Bob put in these um, lights underneath these cabinets that fit right into the track so that adds a lot of great lighting to the kitchen area as you can see behind um, the countertop itself there is um, great space for plants you know so I have all these plants which gives it a nice homey feel and I love plants and I love the extra homey feel that that stuff gives we need to replace this um, window because there is a leak in it and so we haven't finished up the trim here as you can see so we'll be doing that in the next couple of weeks here's my sink nice little swivel sink has a pull down sprayer goes back up in place the other thing I love about this sink is this deep sink that we have in here super um, deep for all the pots and pans this little cover adds more counter space to it and then the other thing that we did with this uh, countertop as well is we extended it over here making a garage for our one wheels with all these nice open places, I was able to find some things at a um, craft store so I can put plants in there, which I absolutely love. And I'm gonna step back a minute now. So this area here is our bathroom and the backside of the bathroom. It is a nice wall that separates the bathroom and the shower um, from everything else. So there's some really good privacy there. On the wall, as you can see here, this is the controller for the Wabasto water heater and our heater itself. And there is the vent for the water heater. So moving on from there, um, I'm going to take you to the back of the bathroom and show you what that looks like. And see Bob outside working on the Jeep hookup. So in here we also have all these great cabinets. Nice shelves in here. Here's my clothes as you can see. So I have all this space for my clothes. We actually have a designated location for the Starlink. Um, takes up a ton of room but what are you going to do? So this is where the Starlink shelf goes. These are flexible solar panels, but we're going to return those because we actually put solar on the roof. So I will show you that in another video and how I hooked those up. This here is our actual water tank. So last van we had the water on top of the roof and it was gravity fed. But now we have the water tank housed inside and we can actually see how much water is in there. And that works off of a water pump. And then below, here's an extra panel. Whoops, my soda stream has fallen over on our travels. But yep, I keep a soda stream under there. And then under here is all the space that is needed for the water pump, the water heater. So everything is under there that connects to the shower and the water heater for the Wobasto water heater. We do have videos out on the Wabasto water heater water pump itself so you can look for that if you want more information on the Wabasto water heater which we are currently loving and has been working really well for us this was an extra panel here that I saved because I'm going to add a panel somewhere where I hadn't had one before put that to the side close that back up nice and latched Close that back up and as you can see we actually have the wire running out to the top there and then the wire from the um, satellite dish actually runs to the top we have little attachments here and then they uh, that runs out the door so we don't have to attach and reattach all the time that is permanently attached and then I'll quick take you out here we have the Starlink out running and that has a really long cord and yeah we're getting full signal in the forest here so moving back to the back of the bathroom 
This time we put a nice latch door on, where in the past we just had a retractable shower door, but we have a nice privacy door in there now. And here is the bathroom. Composting toilet, as you can see. We have a great shower pan. We're still working on the finishing touches of the actual bathroom. This is where we hang all of our, our um, towels and things to dry. The other nice thing about actually this area here is where we put our jackets because before we had them out front, which we did not like at all. And as you can see, there is the toilet. This is the water tank here. Miscellaneous baby wipes. But the great thing about, let me back up, I'd open the door, but Bob is working on the Jeep and I can't open up the door when he has the Jeep going. But this is our water tank here. The great thing about this water tank is, this is how you feel it. Fill it right from the top. And so we actually just have a hose and we run it right in here. The, another great thing about this water tank is um, we do have the ability to fill from inside with uh, an actual hose. But if for some reason we are out of water, we can actually go to Walmart or wherever and buy jugs of water and we can actually pour that in here. So we like this system. So we're not really stressing out about being empty about water because we, we always will have water um, access by being able to fill it up this way too. So we love this new modification to the van as where the last time we had everything on the roof, the downside to that was we could never see how much water was in there and the only way to fill that up was um, through the top uh, reverse feed through our shower head. This is our water controller. Um, it regulates the water um, system itself and it combines the hot and cold water and so we haven't worked out the tweaks with where we're going to put things in there but for, for now this is where we have that. And then above our shower head is up here and um, this is just a plastic PVC piping that we drilled some holes in to control how much water is coming out and here's the lever um, to turn the water on and off and now we have hot water where we didn't have that in the past. Let me back up. Again I have all these great little magnets so we can hang things easily and um, things can dry in the back and out of the way so we like this this area and it keeps things tidy with those magnets themselves close the door one thing you might have noticed is we don't have um, things finished on the ceiling here and we don't think that we will finish it because we do have on order another van yes another van which is going to be an all-wheel drive van and so um, we're going to sell this van when that one comes in and um, we plan on and we think what we're going to do is take everything out of this van because everything is modular and we will just physically move that into the new van and not start from scratch because we love the 8020 and it's very flexible and it works great for us. So that is the current plan but you never know with us. Our plans are changing all the time. Let me show you up in the ceiling. We have this great fan. I did put the the um, finishing edging on it, but I think again, we're just gonna keep it like this since we are going to be getting a new van in about a year, probably sooner than that anyway. So this is the Max Air Fan, which has all the different speeds, sucks the air in or sucks the air out. And we will always have a Max Air Fan in the van, so underneath the sink I forgot to show you what's under there and what I use for under there is let me turn you around all my extra bags but this is just a regular water jug and that collects um, the water and so that pulls right out and I can empty that with ease this is where the little trash can goes and then in the back here we now have a designated garage for our one wheels which we have not incorporated in yet, um, but right now they're temporary being held in with bungee cords, so we do have to put those in 
place and hook up our charging system um, so that is permanently in place to charge the one wheels instead of having to take them out and recharge them we will plumb them right into that area um, and so that is convenient and those are always on charge so that is it that is it for the current setup in our van it has become very comfortable um, we really are enjoying it we like the new changes that we have made in the van and to recap on that the changes that we made was the wood countertop which I love it really softens the look um, and making the bunk bed taller and a little bit wider and changing how that actually bunks up and like I said I'll show you a video on that and then the difference also we have here is we do actually have a water heater now and a water pump which Bob is loving um, so that's it that's it for today's video if you have any questions on what you are currently seeing or any questions on it building out a van and using 8020 we have a ton of videos out on that but feel free to leave your comments below because of course I love chatting with you guys and I love helping you out and I love hearing your comments so we will see you on tomorrow's video. We are off to play some pickleball with some friends who are located in, in this area as well. So see you tomorrow.